Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a curriculum unboxing, if you couldn't tell. And so if you enjoy this type of content and other homeschool and lifestyle content, please remember to subscribe and let's get into it. All right, it might be considered a little early to get a whole bunch of new homeschool curriculum for the fall, but <laughs> I like to be on top of things and I get really, really excited. It's like Christmas time, basically, when it's time to get new curriculum. And a lot of our curriculum is from the good and the beautiful. And so I have things here. There's a few things that aren't necessarily for our school in the fall, but they're still like homeschool related and they looked cool. So I thought we'd try them out. And then I will have like individual curriculum videos that come out probably more closer to like May time. So if you're looking for what we're doing for each of my kids in their respective grades, look forward to those. But Today we're gonna open these boxes. There's three of them. You can't, you can only really see one and maybe two. <laughs> but there's three of them here. So I'm gonna open them up beforehand, set everything out so it's really easy to show you. And then we'll come back here and we'll talk about it all. Okay, I think I have everything. The floor is a mess, but I'll clean it up later. And we're gonna start going through this. I have my chair is a little helper over here. It's a really good helper at holding stuff for me. So I guess we'll start with math. This actually wasn't in this haul, but it was one I had already gotten, and that's math seven. So my oldest will be starting this. So it has the four like workbooks and then the answer book with it. So we have that, and then I got math six for my going into sixth grader. That sounded really weird, <laughs> but she's gonna be in sixth grade. But she actually might need this sooner because she is almost done with math five. So this has two books. And that's why I just put the first book in front of the second one because I'm OCD like that. And I already have an answer book, so I didn't buy a new one. So I just got the workbooks to go with it and not the answer book. And then another math thing that we got was math three. So let me hold this up for you. So here's the workbook. My daughter that's going to be going into second grade will actually be starting third grade math. She's already on second grade math, or at least math two. You know, they don't necessarily directly line up with all the grade levels, but she's on math two already from the good and the beautiful. So she's going to be doing math three pretty soon. So I got that and I'm pretty sure I don't have an answer key for this. And even though most of it's fairly easy for me to check really quickly, whereas the uh, higher grades, I could personally check them, but that would require a lot of work. So the answer books are actually super helpful. With the lower grades, it's pretty easy for me just to look at it real quick and know that it's right or wrong, but I figured I'd get this just in case. So I got that and then we used, we did have, we probably still do have a manipulative kit for math three. The younger grades, I think one, like kindergarten, first, second, and third, have this little box, but my son did a number on it, and so I feel like some of the pieces are missing. So I just got a new one. So if you open it up, it's a little sticky there, but um, it has this little thing right here, which has the days of the year, so they can practice the days of the year, the months of the year. <laughs> So they can practice how many days are in each month and then also different water temperatures. And then it has a grid over here. And then it has a measuring tape. So we have a measuring tape, some little piece, like game pieces, that's what they're called. Some different types of dice right here. And then these little pieces, tanagrams, is that what they're called? Those tanagram pieces and then this one actually came with a whiteboard separately. So I don't know if this is what they're, a new thing they were doing. At one point they were on the back, but they weren't on the back of all of them. So I don't know if this is just easier or better. So I was like, cool. So we have this little whiteboard that goes along with math three also. Okay, then as far as language arts goes, I only got a few things because my oldest two kids just barely started level five from the good and the beautiful. And so maybe in the fall sometime they'll need the next level, so I'll buy it when they need it. But, you know, so right now we're working on that. But my first grader will be going into second grade, but she'll be on level one from the good and the beautiful of their language arts. So I got this. She's still working through the kindergarten one, but she'll probably be done by summertime. And so then we can start this one in the fall or in the summer a little bit. And it comes with these booster cards 
which I actually really like these booster cards. It gives me something as like a mile marker to know where we're supposed to be at. It will tell you in this book what booster card you're supposed to be on because these are all numbered at the top. So like this says card 11 right here. So in the language arts book, it'll say, make sure that you're already to this point because otherwise it might get too hard or they'll be talking about things they haven't actually learned to read yet or things like that. And so if they are not to that booster card yet or have not mastered it yet, then you will just keep practicing the booster cards until they get there. And then once they get there, then you'll go back to also doing stuff in the workbook, if that makes sense. And I think it works really well and it's a really nice like gauge to see where they're at. And then they also have little readers that go along with some of the activities in here. Usually they have like a pyramid type reading like this. And then it usually has them read a story at the bottom and that would be in here. And so I really have loved, they just recently redid all of these well through third grade, I believe. And I really, really like how they function and work. And then I also got level four for the language arts because my third grader who's he'll be in fourth grade will be on this he's working on the third the level three right now and i didn't there are readers to go along with this i didn't buy them because we already have two sets of them for my older two kids and so i did not buy the readers this just has the spelling and writing book which is separate some of them it's in the same book some of them it's separate and then this is the course book right here. And then there's also like they do things with pastels and stuff at this level. And so you, I just make sure we have pastels for them to use. So when they have an art project, those things are available. And then another thing for language arts was handwriting. So I had gotten a whole bunch of handwriting books sometime last year just because my kids don't always go through them at the same speed. So sometimes they're ready to move on to the next one. And so I just kind of have a few of them on hand that I know they're gonna need next. Well, my oldest two kids will probably need level seven by the fall or sometime during the next year. So I got level seven, I got two of those. And then I have level five for my almost fourth grader. He'll be using this. I think he's on level four right now. I can't remember, I looked through all these things before I put in the order to make sure I was getting all the right books. And then I had plenty of the books I needed for my uh, almost second grader. So I didn't get her any new ones because I already had those. The next thing is some science curriculum. I already had a, quite a few science units just because as they redone them or come out with new ones, I'm like, yeah, let's do that one, let's do that one. And I had way too many for us to get through in a year, but I think we're getting close. I think by this next year, we'll have gone through most of them <laughs> that I had. But my oldest is going to be in seventh grade, even though he's a little bit more on sixth grade level with some things and seventh grade with some things. And so they have these student journals, which I absolutely love these. These are newer and they have worked so well and they help us, they help my kids stay engaged. So I really enjoy them. But I had them for the third, three through sixth grade, and they also have the seventh and eighth grade ones, and they have little extension activities in your science, like in the workbooks. And so as you go through, you can always have them do those extension activities. So I got a few of these that we, so we already have this whole science unit, and I have workbooks for my younger kids, but I wanted to get the harder one for my older child. He sometimes complains that he already knows all this stuff. So hopefully this will push him a little bit more. So this one is weather and water. This one's motion and simple machines, mammals. This is a pretty hefty unit. So this was gonna take us a while. And then wonders of energy. So those are ones that I just needed a workbook that was a little bit more advanced for him. And then I also got the chemistry one. This is the one we didn't have mostly because, <clears throat> excuse me, it was for fifth to eighth graders. You know, chemistry is just a little bit more advanced and harder, but my oldest son really enjoys chemistry. And so my older three kids will fit pretty close into this. My third one is going to be in fourth grade, but he is pretty, <laughs> like he, he just cruises ahead in all the schoolwork. So, so I think he'll be fine keeping up with everybody else. And then the younger three, I'll try to do something else with. Obviously the, the 
the youngest two are just little, little. But my almost second grader, I'll try to do some separate science. She'll still sit and listen and participate as much as she can, but this stuff might be a little bit harder for her. And we'll see if we get through all these units. I feel like we've gotten through almost five this year already. So hopefully. And then I didn't have to buy two different types of notebooks because these ones are all five through eight. So fifth, fifth through eight, whatever you wanna call them. And I think I got four of them. <laughs> I don't know why I got four. <laughs> because my four child's gonna be kind of still little, but maybe she can participate in it. Maybe I just by accident got four of them. Anyways, so, and maybe we'll do it again in a few years and then we'll still have one. So we'll see, but I got four. I'm just being overly prepared. And then this chemistry comes with these two books for the, well, some of them are for the younger grades, but this one's all like fifth through eighth. So I don't think that's the case for this because sometimes they'll have like more picture books for the younger kids and then like a reader for the older kids. But so this is the story of Alice Ball, the book of elements, which my oldest is gonna love. He loves doing the elements and we have like the happy atoms and you can do them on the app or you can just put them together in their magnets and make all these different chemistry things. I've never taken chemistry. <laughs> I took a like food science chemistry type class, but they had dumbed it down for us people that had no chemistry background and stuff. So I really have not taken a very serious chemistry class. I know some about elements because that's incorporated into some just normal science classes, but I just never did. And then Marie Curie is what this book is about. So we can read this um, maybe a little bit as we go through the science unit. So. That's kind of the plans for science stuff we already had, but just adding to it to make sure my older son can also participate. And then still talking about science, I got some more of these science for little hearts and hands. I still have the other one. I <laughs> There's two of them that are newer, and one of them, I think it's more like plants and stuff like that. I've had that one for a few years and <laughs> we have not gone through it. I'm always like, we're gonna go through it, and then I just never do. And so we're gonna try, we're gonna <laughs> say again that we're gonna try to do it. But I saw these newer ones and I was just so excited. I was like, I know I haven't gone through the older one, but I really love these ones. So, and this one sparks and stars, which is exciting for me. I just love the stars so much. So it comes with the parent guide and then some science stories right here. And these, I can't remember quite the age range they recommend. Maybe, you know, since most of their science units start at third grade, I think it's basically up until second grade that they kind of recommend these, but you could adapt it, you know, a little bit for older or younger. And then I got the wind and wave, waves one, wind and waves. <laughs> and so this is again, the stories, and then you have the parent guide here that can give you some ideas of things you can do as optional activities, like the opening, the story time and things. So. Me and my seven-year-old have been doing a little bit more one-on-one -on -one time just because a lot of my older kids are able to work a little bit more independently. So I'm hoping as we keep doing that, we can just incorporate a little bit of science stuff that is a little bit more catered to her since all the other stuff is just, it's not necessarily more advanced. Some of it is, but it's just still a little bit hard for her to participate in all of it. She can do the experiments with us sometimes and things like that but the writing or anything like that is obviously just really hard for her still because she's just little. So we'll do that and I think my two year old would also really enjoy it. So that's why I got those. And then the last thing in this <laughs> Good and the Beautiful haul that I'm so excited about was these Badger Hill Farms books. And I don't even know anything about these to be honest. I just know that Ashley from Grace and Grit talked about them and said that her kids loved them, even some of her older kids. And so I was like, okay, we're gonna get them because I think the reading level is like three-ish or whatever. Oh, it says on the side, 3B. And so, and these are not in order. There's six books and I just like <laughs> picked them up and messed them all up. But I'm excited. I think we, I don't, I'm trying to decide if we'll read them together as a group or let my kids individually read them. We'll kind of see how it goes. I'm not really sure. And I don't, I'm not sure. But I just saw that she loved them and she was like, they're back in stock because I guess they had sold out. 
and stuff. So I was like, we'll try it out because it could be fun. You know, we love books over here. So that's why I got those. I was influenced to buy them. <laughs> All right, so I hope you enjoyed this Good and the Beautiful haul. This is the majority of our school curriculum for the fall. There'll be a few other things that I'll incorporate that I'm still trying to figure out, but this is mostly it. So remember to look forward to those curriculum videos that will be coming out in a few months. And comment down below what curriculum you like to use if you're already starting to do curriculum, like getting curriculum for the next school year because you're as excited about it as me, or if you're like, no, it's way too soon. I wait till August. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know what kind of person you are when it comes to getting new homeschool curriculum. And remember to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next time.